What's going on, everybody? Welcome into What You Heard Reviews. Yes, yes, yes. We are back with another fire one. But before I tell y'all what it is, y'all know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to become part of the tribe. Do us right. Hit that like, comment, because you are loving the content. Now, we're back with another fire review. And no, it is not music. It is a film. It is of the film Ogilvy. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. It is yep. a production, but it, it it is it is not it wasn't actually filmed, but some of it was filmed. That's it true. is. What well, we got, man? Let's see. What we got, man? <laughs> Spider Man uh-huh. across the Spider Verse. Across the Spider Verse. Across the Spider Verse. You, you part you, two. The you, sequel. Man. Uh we, we, we gotta break this down. We gotta break it down, man. We're gonna say it right off the yappers. Spoilers. We're spoiling it. We're man. spoiling that. We're spoiling it. Hell out of this, and we're yes, spoiling. we're gonna give a st- score at the end. So, if you want to stick around for that, please stick around to the end. Yeah, to give our scores and see what we thought about it. Now, let's go, let's get into let's it. Let's get into it, man. First, j- just general thoughts about the movie. What, what, what are your general thoughts about it, man? So, uh, based on the first uh, part of the, the first movie, mm-hmm. uh, Into the Spider Verse, uh, I you know, I had high expectations going into this one. Oh, yeah. High expectations, um, high level of excitement. And so I pulled up ready to have a good ass time. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 that's what I had, man. I, I, I felt the gamut, if you will, of mm-hmm. emotions, mm-hmm. man. I was happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was laughing. Mm-hmm. I was sad. Yep. I was angry. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was confused. <laughs> Yeah. There was so many things going on in this movie. And I think what I'm going to say out of the gate, man, is one thing they did well in Into the Spider-Verse that they did extremely well in Across the Spider-Verse was you are watching an animated movie. Mm, mm-hmm. And this does not feel like an animated movie. This is one for the adults. It's one for the kids. It, you, you really are wrapped up into the characters and the storyline and Let's get into this, man. Yeah, yeah. This, this is a good answer. What you? What, 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 what's your first thoughts, man? My my general thoughts of uh, I, I couldn't wait to see this movie. Yeah, right. I really couldn't because coming off of Into the Spider Verse, right, and it's been a few years since we we've gotten that film. Yeah, and and we got that direct to streaming. Yeah, <laughs> no man. Well, no, it came out in the movie theaters. Did it? Yeah, it came oh, out. But we were movie. able to. You were, we were able to stream it because I think it came out in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Was it? Yeah. Man. Oh, okay. If not, like 2019. I can't remember what year it came out. Okay, okay. But anyways. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember seeing it in the movie theater. Okay. I saw this one in the movie theater. I saw Into the Spider-Verse and I saw Across the Spider-Verse okay. in the movie yeah, yeah, yeah. theater. Man, I don't beckon the doors of movie theaters very often. So I was excited to see this. Yes. So it did not let down Mm-mm. my expectations Mm-mm. of this film. Mm-mm. And uh, let's start here, though, because I, I think this movie is great and it's fantastic. But let's start with story first, dude. Mm. Let, let's talk about the story of this first. Yes. And then we'll dive into maybe the animation of it and, yeah. and that kind of stuff and then maybe kind of wrap it up. But let's start about the, the, the story of this, because I, th- I think there are so many good things about this movie. Mm-hmm. But I think this is exceptionally well done. Yes. I do like take movies just in general, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And story concepts Mm -hmm. and literally can take out the whole comic scene of everything, right? The actual fundamental storytelling elements of this particular story Mm -hmm. is so well done. Okay. So you have miles. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. With, the mother and the father. Yes. Right? Living, like that living whole, that normal life. That whole, you know, yeah. dynamic yep. of them being mad at, at, at Miles because they're like, why are you always late to stuff? Why, yeah, yeah. Why are Miles you not is here? in the streets. He, yeah. He's, he's, spy, he's spider man it up in the streets, but he's still got to be a regular kid. He's still got to go home. He's still got he to go to school. He, he's missing tests. Pops don't understand why. Moms don't understand why. They being and he's parents. helping his dad. And he's his helping his dad. He's pulling up on his dad in the crime scene. Yeah. 
which is awesome, right? Then you have the the Gwen story, right? Oh man! And this was heavy handed in the in the Gwen side of things, which I'm really glad they did, right? Yes. And I say heavy handed and not in a bad way. Just they start off the movie with yep. with Gwen, heavy Gwen, yeah, in the beginning of the movie, right? And it, it's kind of showing her story arc, right? Yes. Then it inter- then it blends into the Miles story, right? right? And then I love the dynamic of we like each other, mm-hmm. but it's never worked before. Yeah. And then when you see when you hear that for the first time, you're like. Yeah, we know that, but how do they know that? Right. You know, so right. it's like your first clue of what's kind of about to come. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? So she she pulls she pulls back up on him, you know what I'm saying? Um, after going back to her world and, and things happen, things transpire where she's now able to uh go to different universes, man. She's able to pull back up. Mm-hmm. And as she pulls back up, you know, he's he's thinking about her. He's like, Man, I I, I miss her, man. I miss the good ass times we had. Right, right. And she put he thinks it's a dream and she's like, I'm here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But she's not supposed to be there. She wasn't <laughs> even supposed to pull up. She was supposed to be doing something else. She was she was over here fighting crime. You know what I'm saying? In his universe. Mm-hmm. And she and, and, and so she she goes to see him. Boom, and and then that's that whole thing of, you know, they sitting there and and and, and he's like, man, I, I, trying to they're trying to figure it out, you know, it's that right. young love, yeah, 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 that young, that young love, and and, and, and she's again, like, it's never worked. I've I've seen all the possibilities, and right. it's never worked. It's and he never was like, worked. But but it's me, it's though. me. It could it could be different. But he's like, it, and and and, and it, that's a good through line through that the is movie. A, I think right? it is a through line of Miles. Like, but it's me. Right. I'm different. Is I, My name is Miles Morales. <laughs> but I like that, though, because yes. it's like, don't tell me yeah. that, you know, just because something has been written over multi dimensions. Right. Don't tell me that I can't be with somebody or save my dad or say, you know what I mean? Like, he, he, I love that through line through the whole thing. It's like. Just being yourself. Being, like, being yourself. Don't tell me that I can't do this. Right. You know, and, and it's I like that because it, it takes the limitations come kind of off, you know, off of him a little bit. Yeah. Even like, no, let me go through this. Right. You know, let me, you know, struggle with this or you know deal with these yeah. certain problems. You know, the the story with with all the villains there's three yeah, so, different villains so in here, within bro. so within all of that within all of that as he's as he's being spider he's in the street he's being spider-man he's in the streets he's doing his thing he's on the way he's on the way to the school he, mm. he's supposed to go to school have this meeting about going into college he's late again because he had to pull up and and, and fight this guy named spot who's mm. basically a, a 101 living dalmatians <laughs> and the spots are are uh, basically breaks inside of the universe, mm-hmm. inside of their universe. So, you basically, you hit one of the spots, man. Your your hand might land over on the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know, I don't <laughs> I love know. That. You know yeah. what I mean? It might end up in Harlem. It might end up in Manhattan. It depends on where you hit, what spots you hit. Right. Um. And so he beats him. So he thinks, goes about his day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Homeboy gets loose, creates a whole bunch of havoc. But he's not really worried about it. You know what I mean? He even says, you're not even the, you're not even the villain of the week, dog. Right. You're not even the villain of the week. <laughs> Spot's like, man, what? And when he first runs up on him, he's like, you don't remember me, man? Mm-hmm. Our stories are the same. Why are they right. started? Do I, we, we have the mm-hmm. same origin story. Right. I was yeah. like, what? I don't know you, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then so now Spot's on the loose. Right. Spot. And Spot's trying to get more powerful. He's trying to get more powerful. And but they don't know that. Right. We know it, but they don't know it. Right. And I think this is a, a, a really another good story arc with Spot, right? Mm-hmm. Because at first you're just like, when they first er- introduce Spot, you're just like, goofy. oh, goofy, you know, whatever. He's he's trying to get to his school to be have a meeting with his, you right. know, Miles is trying to get to his school to have a meeting with his family and stuff. So you're just like, okay, he's going to. He's gonna be running late because he's gonna kick this dude's butt, Man. and then you know, the yeah, homeboy's he, trying he to rob, or he's trying to rob an ATM machine, yeah, right. his spot. He fucks yeah. up. He he, he, yeah. he ends up somewhere down in some hole. You know what I'm saying? It is, it's just all bad, right? So, anyways, I, I think Spot's a good villain. Yeah. Then we have another villain mm-hmm. that kind of comes up a little bit later, mm-hmm. right? So let's, let's take you through the story just a little bit here, man. They they get to like this main. 
hub of Spider-Man yeah. multiverse where Mul- they all can kind of converge and, you know. It's a spider hub. Yeah, it's a spider hub. It is and really all cool. all the Spider-Man from every different universe are in this spider hub. Except for Miles. Except for Miles. Because he is an anomaly. Well, which we don't find out till later. So it's, yeah, but he, anyway, he's an anomaly. He's an anomaly. You know, but anyways, you know he's an anomaly because they kind of, they don't tell you exactly why, right? But you know that he is because they're like you can't be a part of this. Yeah, they like they telling him, but yeah. they trying to break it to him smooth, man. Nah, yeah, man. Yeah. So he gets there, you know what I'm saying? And he meets the main guy, Miguel Cabrera, mm-hmm. and this is Spider Man 2099. This I got to tell you this. Uh, suit this and I say suit because I'm used to like the game mm-hmm. but this version of Spider-Man this this costume is one of the dopest because it's a it's like an elevated level like this dude's on mm. some different he's like part animal like vampire a little bit like and he's really raw like he's really with the business mm-hmm. man he's not trying to just send you to jail he might be trying to eat you. He might be trying to kill you for real, for real. So this dude is running the whole Spider Hub. Mm-hmm. He's 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 the president of the Spider Hub Association, the the the, the SPHA, and uh, I just made that. Up. <laughs> and so with all of that, he pulls up, and 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 now all these dope, you know, what I'm saying as as they're going through the process, all these dope Spider Man, and then now Peter Parker is back in the building, mm-hmm. back in the building, man. Peter, man, you here? Mm-hmm. You man, we all man. Oh man, you here too? Right, it's a good ass time. So everybody kind of converges. Yeah, that was in, that was in the into the Spider Verse. Yes, kind of converges, and you kind of see them all again. Yeah, man, right. What's up? All those Miles, all the man, characters. Good to see you, dog. right? Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Right, great. great moments. Um, and but then you know they're trying to tell Miles this is your future, right? And you got to let your dad die because it makes you become who you become. Right. He's showing him this. Basically, spider the can, web. The canon event. Yeah, yeah. The canon, the canon event. event. Right. And Miles doesn't like it. He's, He's like, like, nope, I don't need to lose my dad. Nope. And it kind of, you know, without telling you every little bit piece of everything, right, right, but right. basically Miles is running and Miguel kind of becomes the bad Spider-Man. Right, right. Now, you understand why. And this is why I like Miguel as like a bad guy, but not like bad, bad guy. Right. But just... Like he's so stuck in his head mm-hmm. that he and he tried to stop his uncle Ben or whatever from dying or his dad. I can't remember in a, exact, diff, in a, in different, a different universe, universe. Right. and he failed. Right, and he d- basically destroyed that particular universe. Right, and this is why this exists. Basically, mm-hmm. he's like trying to make sure nobody messes with the timeline ever again. Right. Well, here comes Miles. Yeah. And Miles is like a big F you, I'm out. Right. I'm gonna go save my dad. You can't yep. tell me nothing. Yes. And I love that whole sequence. The bro. whole sequence, like, man. The part so man, he was like, man, hey man, you gotta get Spider Man. And they do the meme, and everybody's like, you, 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 <laughs> you, 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 yeah. you. And then there's a Spider Man T Rex I didn't even know existed. Um, yeah, but so it's amazing though. Yeah, I really Miguel like that Miguel is like a good, and it's but a, a bad super guy. dope scene. Yeah. Super dope electric. So much action within all of that, and it's and it's jam packed. This is what I love. It's jam packed with that 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 animation that they ran mm. in Into the Spider Verse. Like one thing they did great in this movie, they doubled down on the stuff that worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's and, get it, let's wait on the animation real quick because okay. we we got to get through this, the rest of the story just real yeah, quick, yeah, yeah. man. So <clears throat> so we have that, and then he's going to another. He wants to go back home. Yeah, he tries to go back. I'm to the going crib. home. Yep. And he goes to the machine that's going to send him home. Sends him to Earth number forty two. He's not from Earth number forty two. This is where it gets really kind of weird and tricky. But basically, sends him to where the spider was came from. from. Right. And that it was supposed him. to be the miles there. Mm-hmm. Right. So he gets spit back into Earth number forty two, not his universe that right. he's from. Right. And man, I'm telling you, the way the the, the story is just like boom, 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 boom. boom. Mm-hmm. and you're going through, man, and this whole chase scene, and he's finally tells his mom, but it's not really his mom that he's Spider Man, right. dude. Then you get to the point where you see his uncle Aaron, man, his uncle, yeah, and then the real the Prowler in in Earth number forty two, 
which is Miles, which is Miles Morales as Prowler, and it says to, to be, be continued. continued. And you're like, no, I want more. Like, give me more. Now, thankfully, we'll get some. I heard March. March. Is, March is, is coming what I out. Heard. I, I would assume somewhere between March and but by the time you know this rolled around, like uh, end of May, June, maybe mm-hmm, mm-hmm. might get it. So. I I can't wait. They leave you on such a big cliffhanger. The whole theater was like, oh, oh yeah, oh, man. I'm like, oh, oh man, wait, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, man, just a fire story, man. It, it and it never nothing got old. They no. moved it along very well. Mm-hmm. You know, there's basically three bad guys. The end is the Miles Prowler, right? Which is only for you know a minute or so that you see. So it's setting up the next movie, which is going to be part three, the finale. Right. Can't wait to see. Can't it. wait. Now let's talk about the animation styles because this is a, a whole nother thing of the movie itself because it's mind blowingly good, man. I don't know where you want to go or how you want to take this, man. Man, I, I, just, I look, man. Again, they double down on what they did in the first movie, which was just this almost extra and the still shots and the colors in the background. And then you've got this cool thing where they're going through different universes. So now there's some live action in, involved in it. Mm-hmm. Then there's a Lego scene involved mm-hmm. in it. And it's just, and, and, and then there's like this old school, like paper mache style. And then and there's just so many different elements where they're using different styles of animation throughout this movie. Mm-hmm. That works so well and blends so well together that it does. It's not like they're they're breaking walls literally in this movie. Mm-hmm. That doesn't feel like you're mm-hmm. breaking wall. It yeah. does not. It's not jarring. It's not alarming. It doesn't feel weird. Right. There's hints through the animation of what may be coming in the future in the live action movies. They use characters from some of the live action movies. Right. Like and it's just dope. And then the way that their use of colors to and and you and I want you to elaborate on this a little bit to kind of literally paint the emotion of these scenes I love is incredible. It, it's incredible. incredible. It's so incredible, man. Like, so I love that they, they every universe that you go to is so different, like you were saying, man. It's just everything has its own color palette, its own style. Yep. Uh, it, it's amazing. It's amazing what they did, the talent, the raw talent that came out of this. is just It's mind-blowing to it me, is. man. It, it is. is so well done. Uh, The thing that you're talking about that I absolutely love and adore is what they did for certain scenes and certain different emotions to make you. So there's a scene where Gwen and her dad are like hugging and kind of embracing embracing each other and you don't see them crying, but it looks like watercolor coming down to simulate crying. Man, it's. Mind blowing, dude! Like, Man. who thought of that? <laughs> Whoever thought of that, genius to me. Genius. Because it's like, what? What a great way to show to the make emotion you, to, to and make you feel it without it being direct, right? Without them doing a close right. up on a face where you see tears like coming one down. One single tear drop, right. or something you know what like I mean? That. Yeah, it, man. It, and it it makes it even better because they're like in the distance almost. Not right. super far, but they're in the distance and you can see the embrace and then all of a sudden the water color. Man. Amazing. And they do Fire. it multiple times, man. Like for different action sequences, they'll do certain things. I mean, bro, like uh, spider punk. Yeah. We didn't even talk about Spider Punk. Yeah. It might be one of my favorite Spider Man. Yeah. That, they, that that's like around man, like because it, it's it fits so well, yes. dude. And it's not overdone. It they don't blast you in the face with the Spider Man you know I mean? in India, man. That just the nostalgia, the, the dope look that they had. It felt talk real. about the art style for that that man, particular dope, universe, man. dude. Was amazing. It was amazing. Colorful, so, beautiful. But it had like a pastel. Yeah. And it, the the way they blended it when he was moving and stuff it was amazing, dude. Right. Like I, I I just can't compliment it enough on his animation. And then meanwhile, you get, you got to understand that the, these Spider Men from the from these different universes they don't change in their animation Correct. style. So they're blending through these different mm-hmm. universes that look different from them. And it's like it's 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 so well done, man. Yeah, it's, it's so well done. It's so good, man. It's so good. Man, we go on forever. With yeah, we this. could. So, so let's 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 give a score. Let's give a score. 
And I will go first. Mm-hmm. This is an easy 10 out of 10. Man. Not even close. It's not even close, man. It's not even close, bro. It's this not is, even close. This is 10 out of 10. And I'm going to say something kind of bold. This might be my, f- when when all said and done, this might be my favorite tri- trilogy. Now, I'm going to get probably some hate for this because, you know, people like Star Wars. And so this might be my favorite trilogy, trilogy of all time. Man, let me tell you something. Of all time, bro. This is a 10. And so far, so far, this is the best Spider-Man series visually that I've seen. Mm-hmm. And and story. And story. Just everything, everything put bro. together. And everything. look, man, I, I love what they're doing with the Tom Holland ones. I think they've really revamped the character very well, mm-hmm. along with the video games. I think those are great. Yep. But, man, this is different. It's different. Different. It's so different. It's and so good. And when the third one comes out, park your butt in the theater seat mm-hmm. and go watch it, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, stay tuned for, there's not going to be a part two to this, but the, we're going to do the music there was, and we're, there was a soundtrack. There was a soundtrack. Was a soundtrack. And soundtrack. we're going to go and do what you heard spotlight. So you guys go click the next video. It'll come out next, probably within a day or so after you've seen this. If you're seeing this still a couple late, it's all right. It'll be right there. It'll be yeah. right next door. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. So you can watch the movie review and then you can go see the music. Yeah, yeah. The music like review. That, you, know mean? you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So you got to stay safe. Yeah. You got to stay positive out there. You yeah. Know? yeah. And, and as always, man, it is what you've seen. And it's also... What you heard. Peace. Peace.